Hello, my dear students of GCE O level. Welcome to Kavin English Learning Channel. Today, I am going to teach you how to write a description for table or bar graph. This is a very important question in your GCE O level examination. So. Come, let's see how to describe a chart or a table or bar graph. The following table shows the percentage of different modes of transport used by the students in post-COVID period. Study the chart and write a description of it. Use about 100 words. The following words will help you. Here you can see a table that shows the mood of transport and the percentage. Bus, school van, train, motorbike, car, on food, cycle. Here the percentage. 2, 25, train 5%, motorbike 20%, car 3%, on food 15% and cycle 20%. If you have a table, you describe it. So, you can describe it. So, you can describe it. Most popular, mostly used, lowest percentage, highest percentage, equal number. This is the paragraph. Most popular, ahalam, prasitamana. Mostly used, and adikadi, pavika patrikrade. Lowest percentage, ah, kuranja percentage. Highest percentage, aha kudina percentage, equal number, samamana number. Idela vachikonda ningepa papam, a pudinangora description. Come, let's see how to write a description now. The above table shows the percentage of different modes of transport used by the students in the post COVID period. In the sentence, you have to ask the question. You have to ask the question. You have to ask the table, the description, and the table. You have to ask the question. You have to ask the question. The mood of transport includes public and private vehicles, cycling, and walking. According to the table, the most popular mode of transport is the school van. It is used by a quarter of the student sample. The lowest percentage of students, which is 2, come to school by bus. This may be due to the lack of public transport in the post-COVID period. Only one percentage more than that percentage of students use cars as their mood of transport. So, likewise, you have to try how to write a paragraph describing this table. Now, we have a sample here. If you have to continue, you can continue. You can continue. You can Highest, lowest number, equal number, you can continue. So, this is a very uh, simple sample for you. Please write down this paragraph also in your exercise book. Okay, let's see the next question. The following bar graph shows the result of the survey conducted among 100 grade 11 students in a school about their favorite after school activities. Study the chart and write a description. The following words may help you. Bar chart and the number of students and also in the uh, and their favorite after school activities. So, here also they have given you some words to uh, elaborate your paragraph more, most, less, least, equal, majority, majority, highest, lowest. Before describe that, you should know one thing horizontal axis and diana. Vertical axis and diagram. Why Achavanga vertical axis and soldram? X Achavan and Soldram horizontal axis. So vertical axis Y Horizontal 
എക്സ് എച്ച് അപ്പൊ നൗ യു കാൻ സി വാട്ട് ഈസ് വെർട്ടിക്കൽ ആക്സിസ് ആൻഡ് ഹൊറിസോണൽ ആക്സിസ് ബൈ ദിസ് പിക്ചർ The above bar graph shows the results of a survey conducted among 100 grade 11 students in a school about their favorite after school activities. The horizontal axis represent the activities while the vertical axis represent the number of students. The highest number of students prefer to do sports whereas the lowest number of students like gardening. an equal number of students consider school clubs and martial arts as their favorite after school activities that number is 21 it is more than the number of students who like to do music or dancing after school the number of students who like photography is less than the number who chats online okay please write down this description also in your exercise book and study well we will move to the next picture now okay my dear students this is also a table the following table shows the number of tourists visited radmalangoda forest reserve from january to july in 2018 study the table and write a description you may use the given words use about 100 words most least less more many few radmalangoda forest reserve year 2018 here you can see the month and number of tourists january to august and you can see the number of tourists let's see how to write this description now the above table shows the number of tourists who visited the radmalangoda forest reserve from january to july in 2018 the highest number of tourists visited the forest reserve in april that number is 910 the least number of tourists visited the forest reserve in july and that number is 12 the number of tourists visited this place in may is less than the number of tourists visited in june even in august only a few tourists visited this forest reserve it is less than the number of tourists who visited this place in march overall it is seen that the most popular period for tourists to visit the ratmalgoda forest reserve is april to june whereas the least popular months are july and august okay my dear students please write down this description also in your exercise book okay my dear students hope you all enjoyed and understood today's table and bar graph descriptions very well so please try to practice more and more question like this then only you can get a good results in your gce o level examination so practice makes a man perfect so try your best thanks for watching my youtube channel i will meet you soon with an interesting lesson later bye